In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up and connect Kinetic for data feeds. Some of you guys have probably heard me talk about running back tests on stocks or ETFs, not just futures, not just NQ or ES or MES or MNQ. And so you guys have probably all seen here when you connect into your connections on your uh, here on the control panel in NinjaTrader, you've probably seen the Kinetic end of day free. That's always going to be there. And that allows you to run back tests uh, independent of having to have data feeds. However, uh, it is very limited by what you can do. And what we're going to talk about today is how to set up this connection here, which is uh, just Kinetic itself. And it is it does require a fee. Uh, it's not ridiculously expensive, and we'll talk through the process of how that's done. So first, we're going to point our browser to Kinetic, K-I-N-E-T-I-C-K. -I, -E I just realized the word tick is in there, kinetic.com. We're going to go up to the top right here, and we're going to click on subscribe. Now, they do offer data packages. Um, I don't pay anything near $78 a month, way a fraction of that. Uh, but it depends on what all you want. So if you scroll down, you'll see here where you can actually choose the exact exchange that you want. And for me, myself, what I have chosen was these three under stocks and ETFs, these three across the board, right? So uh, any kind of stocks or ETFs that are traded on the US, the three different US exchanges, that's what I want to, uh, that's what I want to subscribe to. Now you can, uh, there's all kinds of, exchanges and markets you can subscribe to. So Malaysia, Sydney, Australia, Johannesburg, South Africa, Singapore, right? Brazil, like there's all kinds of things you can subscribe to. Obviously each one is uh, an additional fee. So in this case I pay, I think, I guess it's roughly $22 give or take for all three of these. And what I'm gonna do is go to next and you're gonna fill out this information, put your information in and then uh, set up a credit card and then uh, give them your credit card to, to make a payment. And then you will get an email, usually a few minutes later, that looks like this, which provides your login ID and password. Now you're gonna need this log ID and password. You're gonna need both of those information. Obviously in this case, I'm showing X's. That's not my actual username and password. <laughs> uh, but what this does do is it does show me what my username and password are going to be, my login ID and password. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that information. Usually you can either copy and paste it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to then minimize this. And I'm going to go into my connections here. And uh, if you, you don't have it yet, you're going to go ahead and click configure, right? And then you're going to click on kinetic here on the left. You're going to double click it and it'll say my kinetic here to set up a new connection. And then you're going to put your username and password in here and in here. And depending on how you want to do this, you probably don't want to enter your password every single time you connect to this. I like it to be saved, uh, especially when you, passwords are assigned to me. They're not something I chose, uh, usually some random letters, numbers, characters. So you can also choose connect on startup if you want to allow that. Obviously, you're going to put your, your real username and password from that previous email, put it in here and click apply. Is you're going to come in here into connections, you're going to click on kinetic. And what, what I can now do is now I'm connected. Now I can go into my strategy analyzer and I can go to, let's just say, uh, I'm going to run a back test on, I like the orb. And you guys know I'm kind of a big fan of TQQQ. And I'm let's say I'm going to run the 836. And we're going to exit at 1455. So basically going to play the second candle. That's what the 836 represents. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this up for, let's say, 2000. Now, when we're talking about shares or ETFs, the lot size obviously refers not to lots, it actually refers to contract or the, the actual shares or the ETFs themselves. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys a quick back test of just October uh, using this. And I should have just, let's say load, oops, let's load. 
Um, here we go. Boom. I actually have a, a template set up for this. Forgot about that. So pretty much everything that we just talked about Monday through Friday, and we're going to run a quick test. Now, even if you don't necessarily have uh, a broker that set up, you can still run back tests and you can kind of get a, a little glimpse into how ETF stocks would perform. In this case, TQQ is a 3X leveraged stock. Now, if I want to run this on Tesla, I can run it on Tesla and pretty much any stock you you can imagine. Now, obviously, uh, depending on what we're, uh, what we're doing here, uh, it may or may not work better on a three minute, five minute, just like you guys would normally run a back test. I have not run back tests on pretty much anything other than uh, TQQQ in the recent month for October. Uh, but I'm pretty sure there's other things out there waiting to be discovered with the opening range breakout. But ladies and gentlemen, that's kind of what I have on how you can connect your kinetic account, set that up, subscribe, and then connect it to your Ninja Trader. Hope that helps.